Okay, assalamu alaikum friends. Today I will not introduce myself in the front of you. That's why because everybody know about me and my YouTube channel. So uh, today it's a very helpful and important topic. And the topic is important guidelines for design of NRCC slab on uh, tips for a design of NRCC slab. Of course, it's very important. And uh, many students they comment on my YouTube channel that what is the standard uh, depth of uh, slab or what is the minimum a die of steel bars should be used in RCC slab or uh, uh, spacing between main bars and distribution bars. So a lot of question are what is the percentage of steel bars in RCC slab. So your all question answers are present in this video lecture. So let's get started. So if this video is helpful for you, so must like this video and subscribe this channel for more update civil engineering videos. And remember that there is bell icon near with red subscribe button so must press that bell icon then you are able to get notification about any video if you press then you will get notification if you did not press so must press now and also new subscribe press bell icon to get notification about all videos so let's start so first step is your question and the question is what is the minimum die of steel bars should be used in rcc slave question number one and this is also tip number one in this video okay so tip number one is use minimum 12 millimeter dia of steel bar and rcc slab remember this point and the second tip is what is the maximum dia of steel should be used in RCC slab? So many students and many engineers they said it use 16 mm dia of steel or 20 or 25. So use this method which I am telling you in this second tip. Okay, that is maximum dia of steel should be not. more than d divided by 8. So what is d divided by 8? So where d is depth of RCC slab. d is depth of an RCC slab. For example, if you want to find the width by of steel and you want to use an RCC slab, so you should use this formula, not more than d by 8 okay so d is depth of slip uh, suppose uh, if uh, your slip thickness is 6 inch okay so 6 inch divided by 8 so it will give us maximum dia of steel bar suppose anything so that will be the maximum dia of steel in rcc slip it's very very important okay so now Third tip is here spacing of main bars and distribution bar in RCC slab. Many students they ask this question that what is the maximum spacing between main bars and distribution bar and also minimum uh, spacing between main bar and distribution bar. Okay, so maximum. The first one is maximum spacing for main bars that is 3D or 300 millimeter. So what is D here? D is again here depth of slab RCC slab. For example, if your depth of the slab is 6 inch so multiply with 3. So here your spacing uh, maximum spacing for main bars should be here with this formula maximum okay that will be 18 inch means 1.5 feet right use this formula and what is minimum spacing for uh, sorry what is the maximum spacing for distribution bar this is maximum spacing for main bar now maximum spacing for distribution bar okay so second number is here maximum spacing for distribution bar so for that you can use 
5D or 450 millimeter. D is same here. Depth of slab. It will give us maximum spacing for distribution bar in RCC slab. Okay. Now, note. Minimum spacing for main bars and distribution bar should should not be less than seventy five millimeter. Okay. Minimum spacing for main bar and distribution bar should not be less than 75 millimeter in RCC slab. So uh, you can take 100 millimeter or 75 millimeter, but not less than 75 millimeters. Mean minimum spacing should be not less than 3 inches in RCC slab, right? So other uh, the fourth tip is here. Tip number four. That is, uh, many students they have also this question that how we can find that how we can find depth of RCC slab. Okay, and this is thumb rule which I am writing. Tip number four. Okay, so find depth of slab width. For one way slab and two way slab. For both, you can find depth of slab by thumb rule. Okay, this is thumb rule. Remember this point. Okay, these are thumb rule. Thumb rules. This one, right? Okay, not standard. This is thumb rules. So, uh, depth, uh, find depth of slab with the formula of L divided by twenty-two. Two L divided by 28 okay with this you can find depth of an rcc slab by thumb rules okay so suppose if your uh, room length is slab length is for example slab length is for example l suppose if l is here length of slab is 14 feet okay so what will be the depth so formula is L divided by 22 to L divided by 28. Suppose I will say the first one. Suppose I will take the first one. Okay. So L has here L divided by 22. So L is 14 divided by 22. So it will come 0 0.6. This is 14 feet. Okay. So uh, 0 0.63 feet. When you multiply it with 12 so it will give us thickness of the slab in inches right so this is also uh, the method to find depth of slab with thumb rule so the tip number five is here that is very important use 0 0.2 percent to 0.5 percent of steel NRCC slab. Use 0 0.2 percent to 0.5 percent of steel NRCC slab with its cross sectional area. With its cross sectional area. For example, this is cross sectional area for slab. Okay, this is RCC slab. Suppose we have to find quantity of steel. Okay, so take 0.2 percent to 0.5 percent. Remember that uh, if the area of the slab is cross sectional area of the slab is, for example, for example. Uh, if I say uh, 25 feet, suppose, okay, so it will multiply with 0 
between 0.2 to 0.5 percent okay so it will give us percentage uh, it will give us quantity of steel in rcc slab so uh, this is the topic which i have discussed the front of you so if you have any question about this video so you just comments i will try to reply your answer but don't forget to like this video and subscribe this channel for more update videos so thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye